Hi there. Super fun to see that you clicked on this plugin and more specifically this video because that means that you are kind of having a little bit of interest in this plugin and trust me, it is a good one. When you've installed this plugin, the way that you're gonna be able to find this is that you wanna go up to the titles and generators up here to the left and then click that and scroll down to in channel cyber. Click that and you're gonna be able to see all the presets that comes with the plugin. And if you go down to the right hand side to the transitions, there's gonna be seven unique transitions that you can use for your videos as well. And a couple of my favorites when it comes to this plugin is uh, the zoom that I really like. That's a pretty cool look, huh? You can also turn on or off the rack focus on that one, which makes it even more usable in different situations. And then you also have the placeholder that I've used a whole lot whenever I'm doing kind of like a picture in picture kind of video. We have one video where we're talking ahead, but you still want to show another picture. So you can have a placeholder and have that and it kind of comes out in this cool looking way. So say for example that you're doing a product review and you want to zoom in a little bit on the product. What you can do is that you can just click on the zoom, drag it and place it where you want the zoom to actually start and when you play that back it instantly zooms in and gives it a very unique kind of rack focus look and the cool thing here is that you can take the center point and kind of adjust where the zoom in is going to be so if you want to have the product a little bit more centered you just drag it down and then we'll play that back again it looks great and going up to the settings up here on the right you can turn on or off the zoom effects. And you can also adjust content scale, which is basically how much the zoom zooms in on the video. So you can drag this all the way up to 2000. We're gonna have a really detailed shot right there. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. Ooh. There's so many things that you can do with this. And another thing that I've been doing a whole lot is actually stacking this. So when it zooms in first, and then you can zoom in even further if you want to. Say for example, that we're gonna drop this at 300 and then the next zoom is gonna be at 400. And then you're gonna have this look. It kind of punches in even further. And then you can turn on on the second one, the rack focus. Nice. When it comes to creating an intro for your video, something that I personally like is to have a very quick intro, just having your logo show up and then disappear no longer than four seconds. And what I really like about the intro that you have here is that it is just that. It's very quick. Kind of comes in then place your logo and bam, you're back into the episode, jump into the vlog, into the video, whatever it is that you might want to do. And to be able to add your logo into this, you just need to drag your own logo to the timeline. Then we're gonna hide this layer. And there is something that is called the drop zone, which is this arrow right here. We're gonna go in and click on that and then we're gonna go down to our logo, choose that and apply to clip. Playing this back now, you can see that we have a logo in the middle. And the cool thing here is that you can customize this the way that you want it to look. For example, if you want the logo to have your own colors, you just go up here and check the logo colorize. It's gonna come back the red. And if you wanna change kind of the look of the circles, then you can just go in and scroll down to the elements scale. And then you can drag these, make it bigger or smaller. And then you can adjust the opacity of the circles as well. You can adjust the colors. There's so many different things and so many different aspects that can make this your own look, you know? And I think that that is what makes plugins like these so versatile because you you can kind of tweak them the way that you want it to. Being able to use callouts in your videos is something that I think adds another level of professionalism into your videos because 
it kind of gives you something to show in text form that you don't really have to say, but that you still kind of want to say. For example, when I make my videos, I always have a call out that looks like this, which is kind of like a subscribe call out. And being able to have one of this in your videos is great because it reminds the viewer that they can you know, subscribe to your channel, even though you don't have to say it. And in this pack, there's so many different ones that you can customize the way that you want it to. And the one that I use for this is called Description 01. But looking at this, for example, I personally like the teal and orange a whole lot. So I want the kind of underlying grid to be orange. And then I'm gonna scroll down here through all the different parameters and choose grid color. I'm gonna adjust this to orange. That looks so good. And we're gonna adjust the element width a little bit and the grid scale. Uh, let's drag it down so it's just covered. Another cool thing that you can customize with this is the glow. Huge fan of transformers, anamorphic lenses, all that good stuff. Check this out. Glow exposure outer Ugh. glow softness here we go this is the anamorphic look <laughs> and you can adjust this depending on which color that you have on your font so if you want to have the red then it's gonna glow red if you want to have the green it's gonna glow green and so on and so forth if we set it to a little bit of a blue that is gonna go blue, but you don't need to have it glowing that much because you can adjust it the way that you want it to look and you can control the amount, and you can control the intensity, just do those kind of fine tweaks to it and it's gonna look just the way that you want it to. Whenever I am doing product reviews, something that I usually want to have towards the end of the video is kind of a summary of how the product performs. And in this plugin, there's something that's called List03, which is a really cool preset. You can see right here that you have the percentage on the right and then the text on the left. And to adjust the percentage, you just drag them up or down. Simple as that. And to go in and adjust the different texts, you have all the different parameters here on the right-hand side in the inspector. You can also set the amount of lines that you want to have or numbers by choosing the segments number and I'm gonna choose four and if you go down to the numbers mode you can also adjust if you want it to be a number at the end or if it's going to be a percentage or description type text and then you can kind of insert the text yourself so you can type in super awesome mega good if you want to have a product that is the best just like this plugin you can also track some of these presets with final cuts pros built-in tracker let me show you how that works for example if i want to have a placeholder on top of this bridge what i would do is that i'm going to choose the placeholder and drag it on top of the bridge just drop it okay and then you can see that this kind of square comes out here we can drag this out and make it a little bit bigger. Somewhere around here. And then we're gonna hit analyze one of these arrows. And it's gonna track the bridge. Okay? So I'm gonna stop, go back to the beginning of the placeholder, choose animation in, and adjust the position of this and place it on top of our bridge. Playing this back, bam. How cool is that? And what we can do is that we can also add in footage into that if we want. So I'm gonna add in a drone into that, going to the drop zone and choosing the drone footage that we got here. Apply clip, playing this back now. Oi, oi, oi. Huh? That's cool.